Welcome to this video about consuming an API in Blazor. The shown code will be the same for a Blazor server or Blazor WebAssembly, so you can follow along with the hosting uh, model that you want to. Uh, we will consume the Breaking Bad API, display all the fetch characters, and uh, also give the user a possibility to filter the characters uh, according to their name. So I will go uh, first to the main layout and delete everything in here. So we don't need a layout. We only want to show uh, the index component. And we also want to delete the links to the bootstrap and the default CSS file. So now let's go to the index and we can start. Here I have to write some CSS. The body, I give it a margin of zero so that we don't see the scroll bars and that we don't see the yeah, the, the margin. Now font family, Helvetica. I have to create a container. It's display grid, hide the whole screen. Now in this container will have two sections. The first section will be the header. The second section here with the, the five fragments will be the, the main thing where we display uh, our characters. The header will be will be royal blue. Will also be displayed as a grid. Now I say justify item center and align item center. So what is this doing when we have, uh, I will create two elements in this header. So they will take the same uh, amount of space and they will be in the middle of the taken space. The first element is the, the, the title. So breaking bad API. The second element will be the input where the user can filter the the fetched uh, the fetched characters i will disable the outline give it a border of 3 pixel solid black also set the radius give it a height of 24 pixel and a width of, let's say, 200 pixel. And font size of 20 pixel. So now I have to define the, the main section here. The main section uh, it's also has also the property display grid because uh, it uh, certainly will give an overflow. We are providing scroll bars so that the user can scroll. Now, uh, what this property does, uh, I will explain after um, I've set this property now. So what are we doing here? Uh, we are not hard coding the columns, the, the quantity of the columns, but we are giving the, the, uh, the opportunity to make it responsive. Here we will set as many columns as 300 pixels uh, have place in the screen. If the screen, let's say, is 700 pixels, uh, two columns will have space. If the screen is 900 pixels, uh, also two columns will have space. and these uh, will be in the middle of their uh, uh, of the available space. So therefore, we have justify items here. Uh, right. So let's go to the to the C sharp code. I define a string of uh, with, with the name search string. I also define the HTTP request message. Now here you have uncountable opportunities, uh, how you want to uh, call an API. 
HTTP response message. And of course, the HTTP client. In the initialize method, I will initialize these fields. First, the HTTP client. Now, the request message. I have to initialize a new object of type request message. Using the object initializer, I have to set uh, two values in here. The first one is the verb or the method. Is it called? Yeah, method. HTTP method get because we want to fetch it. And then also the new request URI. It's of type URI, so I have to create a new URI. Uh, therefore, I pass. I have to pass a string in this constructor. Here, I have to pass a string of the of the Breaking Bad API. I have copied that here. So that's it. Now, if you navigate the page, you see all the JSON that is getting returned. Uh, there are countless tools which uh, lets you transform the return JSON into a clauses of the desired programming language. I've done that too, and I'm just copying the clause in here. Of course, in the real project, you'd have a models folder or something like that. Now, we get a HTTP response. Oh, how did I call it? Response message. If we use the HTTP client to send our request message, now, the, H the response message, so of type HTTP response message, has a field uh, with the name content, and it's uh, content we have to read as a string. So, I completely forgot, I have to define here a list of character, name it characters. Now, Characters equals. Uh, there are new. There is a new namespace system dot text dot JSON. It's uh, it's competing with Newton's of the JSON. Uh, it just allows us to do uh, to do serialization and deserialization, but not that sophisticated as Newton's of JSON. But for a simple pro uh, project, it works. So deserialize. Here, we have to provide a string so that we can deserialize the string into the list of characters. How do we get a string? I've mentioned the content property. And we have to read a string async. We have to read it as string async. Uh, now, this will get a, give us a string, which we a task of string, but because we await a task, we are getting the string, and then we can deserialize it. Uh, OK, so now here in the main, we can uh, enumerate over this. So for each character in characters, I'm building a little card. In this card, I want to see the, the name of the character name, maybe also something else. Uh, what do we have? Well, let's just make the status. And most importantly, the image. Source equals character dot image. OK, so the formatting got messed up a bit. So now we have to style the card. Um, just make it a margin at the top so that uh, they are spaced a bit. Now display flex, but not flex direction a row, which would be the, the default, but a column. Uh, let's give it a width of 350 pixels. Uh, this width has to be exact the same as here. Now, border royal blue again. Uh, let's set the radius to 
five pixel. And now I have to set the max height because if we later filter uh, everything uh, and there is only one uh, display card, if we wouldn't set the max height, it would just be fill out the whole the whole thing, which uh, would be unwanted. And now I also have to set the height of the image. Uh, we have set it 400 pixel. Okay, so let's have a look. Okay, is this a... Okay, yeah. First I have to check if characters is not null. And only then we can, uh, we can enumerate over it. So, now because the for each loop is in the if statement, I don't need the razor syntax. So let's retry. Okay, now we see everything. Uh, as you have seen, uh, the API was actually uh, fetched two times. That's because of the of the of the random mode. Uh, I have to change that. Here, if you have server pre-rendered, the component gets loaded twice. I just uh, call it server, so it's only getting loaded once. So now uh, we are just displaying everything that's here in this list characters. But to implement search functionality, I create a new property called display characters. And this will be a read-only property. And this property will only display the characters where, so, okay. Now, hopefully, uh, IntelliSense will, uh, will work for us. Okay, doesn't, hmm. Okay, we have lost IntelliSense. So I just have to type it out. Uh, whereas point name, no, I think name is written small to upper uh, contains. Now I here I, I use search string to upper two, so that we don't uh, if a user would would uh, type it out lowercase that we that it would still uh, work as expected. And now here I have to call to list to list and here I just enumerate over the display characters. So now, okay, no issues found. Now we should, okay, it works. But of course we don't bind to the search string. So I have to implement the binding too. Add bind search string and the event is on input. So now it should work. Okay, object reference not set. Okay, the object reference meaning the search string, string empty, because if we wouldn't do that, uh, C-sharp would just say string is a reference type, so it's null, and then we have the null reference exception. Okay, we are getting all the characters. I just make it that you see it a bit better. So now I don't know the characters uh, in this uh, series, so I just write something, but uh, yes, it works. Skylar White, and I think the Walter White is like the, the hero of the whole story. Uh, yeah, so you see it is working. We, we can fetch an API and we can uh, also search the, the characters that, that play in this series. Uh, thank you very much for your attention.